Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, let's talk a little bit about what Mr. Tom Davis is doing. So, a little Mr. Davis has created quite the narrative, uh, claiming that I am a criminal. Yeah, Not anything new. Um, my trolls have been doing this for years. Almost a decade. Uh, you know, I've been accused of stalking political... Uh, uh, what do you call them? Political candidates. I've been accused of, uh, I mean, uh, there's nothing that I've not been accused of. Hmm. Why is that? Why is it I'm still free when all these accusations come up? Hmm. Could it be because the accusations are shit? Tom Davis is full of shit. I mean, let's let's make this point. Me and Tim were willing to go to the DA's office. We're willing to go to their office. We filmed it even. He didn't even have the right uh, real estate office, it, and nobody was there. I mean, I was expecting, I was expecting him and his PI and a couple of bodyguards and sheriff's department. And I mean, you know, me and Tim, we had all the documents. We had proof. And, you know, Tom Davis never showed up. Hmm. Could it be because he is just a little bit of a coward? Well, he's, he's a big-ass coward. I think we already know that. Uh, so, uh, let's talk about another one of my trolls who... Uh, has spewed the same bullshit that Tom Davis is spewing. Uh, both of them think uh, that, well, you know, it's just, it's fascinating. Um, Quirky Fenster says, you're doing him a favor, actually. Once he goes to prison, he'll be able to get back on his psych meds. I've never been on psych meds. Um, take some health, self-help classes. Um, what did you think the social interaction of me being in Toastmasters and acting classes and all that stuff was? Oh, you know, never mind the fact that you guys did your damnedest to get and kicked out of Toastmasters and you succeeded. Never mind that you, you know, called up the, uh, you know, the acting school there where I was going and said, you know, watch out for Corky. He's a schizophrenic and an alcoholic and he's prone to violent outbursts and blah, 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 and he's stalking women and blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, it's, um, so, so don't sit there and tell, talk to me about self-help classes. I'm not going to sit there, um, <clears throat> in a group and say, oh, I'm a bad person because someone on the internet doesn't like me. Ugh, fuck that shit. You don't like what I, well, you don't like what I say on video. Fuck you. There's a million other channels for you to watch. A billion other videos for you to watch. Uh, learn how to get his life back on track. So when he gets out, he'll be on probation. So he'll have to get a job. Ugh, no, dumbass. There are no jobs. Nobody's gonna hire a forty-year-old man. And. Both you and Tom have this bizarre idea in your head that prison uh, somehow makes people better people. Oh, I don't know if you guys are really honest to God that stupid about that particular subject. I studied the prison industrial complex. Uh, it turns innocent people into you know, into broken, traumatized, uh, you know, barely human automatons. And I mean, if you're already bad and you go to prison, you're just going to come out worse. You know, Tom sits there and sits there and says, uh, in a way, putting him in a prison forces Corky to integrate into society and contribute something. Ah, oh, wrong again, Tom. Wrong again. Um people who have prison records, society wants nothing to do with them. I mean, it can be for something as stupid as, uh, I don't know, jaywalking or whatever the fuck, right? And 
you know, people, employers, uh, people who rent out apartments, people who, you know, run background checks, uh, you have to just sit there and you say, yes, I was in prison for a time, and they say, sorry, you know, hit the road, get the fuck out of here. That's what they do, that's what they say, because they don't want, prison does nothing, nothing to integrate anybody into society. I mean, you're either that much of a fucking idiot on the subject, um, you know, or, of course, you're just being a fucking sarcastic retard, uh, which we already know you're a coward, so being mentally retarded probably would not be a, uh, a stretch for you, right, Tom? Uh, contribute something. What do you think my YouTube videos are? What do you think? All my goals are about contributing somebody and say, well, you just tend to be an actor because you want fame and money. No, I want to entertain people. I want to entertain people. That's really what it's about. Um, Toastmasters, I was in that. I wanted to give speeches. I wanted to teach people. And I know people are going to, some of you are going to say, you live in the other home and you don't have any money. What the hell can you teach anyone? Ah. It's going to be like, well, I can teach people quite a hell of a lot. Because of the fact that I have been unemployed for so long, I've had enough time to do other things, like study subjects that actually matter in society. Like economics, like psychology, like sociology, like spirituality, like science, like technology, like, I mean, a day doesn't go by without me reading something. I mean, it's, it's like, come on. It's not that hard to figure out. It's not that hard to understand. But you guys, I mean, what do you mean by contribute? I've never, I've never heard of one of you talking uh, uh, in a coherent manner about what my, uh, you know, what my good points are and how I can contribute. Because the constant thing that I hear from you guys is I'm a schizophrenic, alcoholic, uh, something or other reptilian Martian from the subterranean bowels of the earth or something. I, I, you know, you, you, you go all fucking full Von Helton on me or something. You know, um... You've not once said anything good about my positive qualities. You've not once even mentioned my positive qualities. How can, I mean, seriously, you say that I'm worthless and then you want me to contribute. If there's no, if I have no value, there's nothing for me to contribute. Your own logic, your own words. So, um, you know, again, contribute what? Because if you say I have to contribute, that means that some part of you believes I have value. You know, I know some of you are thinking, you can't enough to blow that stepper. Oh, oh. No, that's not my strength. I'm not built for physical labor. I'm really not. I'm really not. I am a thinker. I am a learner. I am, you know... I mean, I'm, I, I'm not even sure you're, you guys are understanding what I'm saying, because, I mean, for you to sit there and post that you think somebody going to prison would be good for them, ah, uh, I mean, you're like, you know, Neanderthals are a step up from you people. I mean, literally. I mean, it's just, it, this. it's just bizarre what you two actually think and then you want to sit there and tell me that I'm crazy wow you're the crazy ones you're also the uneducated unintelligent ones you're also you also don't possess the moral fiber to even meet me in a public place the DA's office you make your accusations, but you won't sit there and meet me face to face to bring your your accusations to my face. No, you're a coward. That's what you are, Tom. You're a motherfucking coward. And you're a slanderer. <laughs> so yeah, um, hell, I might as well go fucking 
begin to say, oh, I've sent all the information to the LAPD. Okay, I might as well go talk to the LAPD. I can go talk to the DA. Hell, I can fuck, I'll, I'll fucking talk to anybody you want me to talk to. But of course you won't talk to me because you're too much of a chicken shit coward. You're no combat veteran. You're no airman. You're no military man. You're just some pathetic old man who is going to die very, very soon because you are such a very old man. You bitter, nasty, old man. Have a nice day, Tom.